Okay, we're out here this morning with our Verndo rifle. Got our chronograph set up. And we have a uh, target set with some sheets around it to tell where we are uh, because the sights are off. If you look at the rear sight, you can see where the marks off. I tried adjusting it's frozen. and I'm going to have to try to free it up. But we're just going to see where it shoots and adjust for it. Get some chronograph times and test out our ammo. Okay, and this is our smokeless load. Hopefully in a few days we'll be able to try out a uh, black powder load, but we'll see. Yikes. Now I'm going to walk down and see how far the sights are off. Okay, shooting a little high and to the left. So these sights, obviously somebody attempted to fire this gun before. These sights have been moved. Uh, so we'll see. Don't know what that was, gotta check it out. Okay, it looks like the firing pin hit way off center. So we'll see if this is a problem. Broken firing pin maybe. I don't really know. Yep, appears the firing pin has broken. Yep, it appears we have a broken firing pin, so uh, we're done with this for today. Gotta wait and see. So that's it for the video. Okay, after a complete and total disassembly of the Verndal, I found that the firing pin is not broken. I really don't know what happened. It was I tried just getting it out without disassembling the gun. <clears throat> it was kind of difficult, but I ended up disassembling the, the whole weapon. And if you look, we have some kind of strange primer strikes. Either there was some debris or something here in the bolt. But then when I looked at the bolt where the firing pin hole was, there's some sort of, something's deformed or something there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean everything out. I'm going to clean the hole out and all that. Clean all the gunk out. Uh, I've run a small needle file in there, but then I'm going to hit it with a stone. It did kind of throw up some, some so I'm going to hit polish this with a hard stone. Clean this out, reinstall the spring and the firing pin. The firing pin looks a little battered, so I'm going to polish it, file it, clean and lubricate everything. And I really don't know, some of the other uh, ones that didn't go off, the primer strike was way off. So there could have been a piece of debris in there, or we're not locking up. 100%. Something got in the way and when we rotated over we weren't locking. 
So basically it's going to be a clean polish. Try to see if there's any mix in that. Then I'm going to get it back together and hopefully in a few days we'll go out and finish our test run. Because uh, it was shooting fairly well. It's, I'm just sorry it malfunctioned as it did, but that's the way it goes with these old guns.